How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood med student, and today we're going to be talking about how you, yes, you can shape the future of trans health by filling out the 2022 U.S. Trans Survey that's out right now and due on December 5th. All you have to do is go to ustranssurvey.org and fill out uh, this questionnaire. It's about an hour long, and it's basically like this census, the U.S. Census, but more accurate to trans people and the lived experiences of people like us. And I think this is really important because I know a lot of you are like, why should I spend one hour of my day when I could be doing just about anything else that I like? Um, the data that's going to be published after taking all of the all of these answers from this questionnaire is going to help researchers like me, researchers like nationwide science and medical researchers, population researchers, gain valuable data on understanding the healthcare needs of trans people and it'll help local nonprofit organizations get grant funding so that they can help trans people in need in their own community. So this is very, very important. The last time this happened was almost a decade ago. So it's very similar to the census. It doesn't come out every year. So that's why it's really important for you to fill out this questionnaire. Again, it's due on December 5th, and all you have to do is go to ustranssurvey.org. So right now, I'm going to go through the entire survey with you all so you know just what to expect. Of course, I'm going to skip the parts that ask for very personal information such as my address my phone number and all that stuff but other than that uh, you're going to be seeing my responses to all of these questions and i hope it ins it ac at least motivates you to fill this out and the reason why i'm doing it is because there's not a lot of trans med students trans doctors of color in this country and i want to at least represent us in that way Okay, so starting off, I'm at the USTranssurvey.org website. You'll see that it says that the deadline has been extended to uh, December 5th, and you can take it in Spanish or in English, so that's really awesome. I'm going to go take the survey in English. Okay, so uh, the first screen I see is just a disclaimer on uh, their partners and uh, kind of the sponsors behind the survey. So we can go on to the next section takes about 30 to 90 minutes. Most people take about an hour. Okay, if you close the survey, you cannot return where you left off. So I have to do this in one go. I have a medical <laughs> residency interview uh, in about an hour and a half. So let's hope I finish it before that. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. Most questions are optional, that's cool. All right, University of California, Los Angeles is conducting this study. Okay, this is basically the, the consent part of the study. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and agree. All right, I have to make an ID. All right, so uh, this part is probably gonna be blurred out, but you have to make an ID using the first, um, any of these options available to you. Okay, now we're at the next page and it says, it's important that people only complete this trans survey one time so that we can gather accurate information. Have you already, no, I have not completed the survey before. So now it's asking for my age. So currently I am about 26 years old. Uh, what territory I live in, the state of Georgia. Okay. I did not take, uh, take the pledge to take the survey. How did I hear about it? Um, probably I saw it on Instagram, but I've known about this for a while because um, I'm in the trans research space, but I'll just put that. Are you taking the survey at a survey event? No, I am not. How am I taking it? I'm taking it on my computer. Cool, cool. Are you a parent of a trans or non-binary child? No, I am not. Am I trans? Yes. Am I non-binary? No, I am not. I consider myself more on uh, the trans male, trans man identity. So we're going to go with that. Currently, how much of the time do you live in a gender that is different from the one assigned to you at birth? So I guess I'll go with all of the time. How old were you when you started to live all of the time in a gender that is different 
from the one you were assigned at birth. That happened around my first year of medical school. So that was about four to five years ago. Well, I've been on T for four years. So that's, that's about the time. Has living in a gender that is different from the one to you assigned at birth made you more or less satisfied with my life? I will say a lot more satisfied next. Which of these terms do you identify with? Mark all that apply. So I guess boy. Oh wow, they have um, East Asian identities too. Okay, 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 that works, that works too. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Were you born with a variation in your physical sex correct characteristics? No, I'm not, but that's up for debate. Uh, I'll talk about it in a future video, but uh, officially, no, I'm not. I was assigned female at birth. My current gender identity is that I do put in that I identify as a trans man in most survey forms. For people in your life who don't know that you're transgender, what gender do do they usually think you are probably a man <laughs> probably <laughs> how comfortable are you with the word transgender being used to describe you I'm very comfortable with that what pronouns do you at do you ask people to use to refer to you he him what gender do you currently live on a daily basis I guess I live as a man we know not that everyone is comfortable with the word transgender, but it is important to use one word in the survey to refer to all people who do not fully identify with their sex assigned at birth, including those with binary and non-binary trans identities. Because of this, we use the word trans throughout the survey. Okay, I like that disclaimer. People can tell that I am trans if even if I don't tell them. That never happens to me. Not right now at this moment in time because I have so, so much passing privilege. A person's appearance, style, dress, or the way they walk or talk may affect how people describe them. On average, how feminine do you think people would describe your appearance, style, and dress? Not at all feminine. <laughs> um, my d mom describes me as a hairy bear, so she doesn't really know uh, the queer term bear. Um, I think that's really funny. On average, how masculine do you think people would describe your appearance, style, and the way you dress? Very masculine. On average, how feminine would you describe your own appearance? I don't think I'm that feminine, but I'm gonna give myself a two because I don't ascribe to toxic masculinity. And I guess in certain cultures or like cultural groups, I might that might be seen as feminine. On average, how masculine would you describe your own appearance? I think I'm very masculine. I wouldn't put a seven, but I think I'm pretty up there. If you had to choose which term describes your current sexual orientation, I would say I'm always in between bisexual and queer, but I'm going to keep it at bisexual because that's what I've been labeling myself for the next, last couple of years. These are questions about your racial and ethnic identity and how you are perceived by others. Okay. I am Asian American. You said that you identified as Asian American. Please select the identities that best describe your racial or ethnic or origins. I am South Asian. There's a difference between being South Asian and Southeast Asian. Southeast Asia is mostly Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and a bunch of other countries on that region. It's very much confused with South Asia, which is Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and some other countries. Uh, Nepal is on another country in that region. Do you identify with any of the following South Asian identities? I am Bangladeshi. Oh, look, those are the countries I just listed. Okay. Thinking about the racial ethnicity groups you identify with, please rate your level of agreement with the following items. Okay. I have spent time trying to find out more about my race, ethnic groups such as its history traditions and customs i do agree with that i've been recently trying to reconnect with my culture that i grew up with i have a strong sense of belonging to my own race and ethnic groups right now i strongly agree with that because here in atlanta i found a huge group of community members who identify as queer and south asian i wouldn't have said 
I would have said strongly disagree um, five years ago. I understand pretty well what my race and ethnic group membership means to me. Yep, I agree with that. I have often done things that will help me understand my race and ethnic backgrounds better. I celebrate Eid. I have often talked to other people in order to learn more about my race. Yes, 100%. I feel a strong attachment towards my own race and ethnic groups. I will say agree. I wouldn't say strongly agree. Um, I'm really Americanized in a lot of ways and Westernized, but I'll agree with that. Now, just thinking about how other people identify and treat you, how do other people usually classify you in this country? I Okay, surprisingly enough, um, a lot of people don't think I'm South Asian. They think I am... They actually think I'm Hispanic. So... Uh, yeah, a lot of people think I'm Colombian or from Ecuador. Okay. These are other questions about your identity and demographics. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. My current religious spirituality. I am Muslim. There you go. Um, I'm non-denominational. Because I really don't like, um, you know, separating people and creating hate among Muslim Islamic groups. Uh, non. So I'll put that in. Okay, so this this is going to ask about my <laughs> my birth date. So I'm going to probably uh, cancel this out. Never married. There you go. I was like, where is it? I'm not single as in like single in a relationship. I am in a relationship, but I am legally single. Have you ever served on active duty? No, 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 no. Okay. What is your citizenship or immigrant? I'm a, I'm a naturalized US citizen. Okay. So am I deaf or hard of hearing? No, am I blind or have Serious difficulty seeing? No. Because of physical, mental, or emotional condition, do you have serious difficulty concentrating or making decisions? No. Do you have do you have difficulty walking or climbing stairs? No. Do you have difficulty dressing or bathing? No. Because of a because of a physical, mental, or emotional condition, do you have difficulty doing errands alone? No. Do you identify as a disabled person or a person with disability? I do not. I I, I have some disability, but. I uh, I'm mostly able-bodied, so I I usually ident identify as an able person. What is the main language that people use in your home? English only. What is the highest level of school you've completed? I got my bachelor's degree. Oh wait, I am currently attending. Should I just say I am I have a professional degree? Cause I'm about to get mine. Now, nah, just I'll leave it at that. I haven't graduated yet. What are your current living arrangements? I'm living by myself, and I rent because which millennial actually owns a home? <laughs> is there at least one telephone inside your home that is currently working, and that is not a cell phone? No. I don't have any landlines. How would you describe the community where you currently live? I am in a very urban area right now. Happiness and satisfaction with my life. Let's go. How would you say our is my life? Would you say that I am very happy, pretty happy or not too happy? I'll say I'm pretty happy. Please imagine a ladder with steps numbered from 0 at the bottom to 10 at the top, okay? On which step of the ladder would you say you personally feel you stand at this time? I'll say I'm pretty much at an A. I'm about to graduate med school and um, it's a huge achievement for me. Five years from now, I think I'll probably at the best possible. Crossing my fingers. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Please. <laughs> Please. How strongly do you agree or disagree with the following statements? In most 
days, my life is close to my ideal. I agree. The conditions of my life are excellent. Uh, I wouldn't say it's excellent. I'll put neither agree nor disagree. I am satisfied with life. I guess I'll agree with that. So far, I've gotten the important things I want in life. I do agree with that. If I could live my life over, I would change almost nothing. So I'm not the type of person who believes in, you know, redoing things. I think every mistake I've made, every bad thing that's happened to me has been a reason for me to become stronger. So I, I wouldn't change anything, really. How strongly do you agree or disagree with the following statements? I tend to bounce back quickly after hard times. I do agree with that. I have a hard time making it through stressful events. I do agree with that. <laughs> it does not take me long to recover from a stressful event. I will agree with that. It is hard for me to snap back when something bad happens. Um, I agree with that. No, it's not. Eh, neither agree or disagree. I usually come through difficult times with little trouble. Uh, I neither agree or disagree. I tend to take a long time to get my get over my setbacks. I'll disagree with that. I, I tend to be a go-getter. Whenever I have difficulty, I'll probably try to find solutions as soon as possible. At about what age did you begin to feel that your gender was different from your sex assigned at birth? My parents have said I've been different ever since they noticed I had the ability to play with toys. So at around five years old. At about what age did you start to think you were trans? Even if you did not know the word, that was when I got my period. That really messed with me. So I got my period around 10 and I know that's early. About what age did you first start to tell others I was trans? That was when I was 18, first year of college. Do you interact with other trans all the time? <laughs> It's almost at this point, I interact with more trans and queer people than I do others. How do I interact with other trans people? Mark all that apply. In political activism, yes. In person, yes. Face to face through live video, yes. Through social media, yes. All of the above. How do you interact with other trans people in political activism? I don't go to demonstrations really. I don't lobby. I don't do any of this stuff. I don't do this. I don't do this either. I'm very much nonpartisan. <laughs> there it is. On what types of issues do you interact with other trans people in political activism? So both. How do you interact with other trans people in person or face to face live video? So at home. Uh, at, at mm, not at work. I'm the only trans person at work. Probably the only trans or queer person at work. Def not at school either. Ah, sad life for me. Public social events, private social events, true, true. S support groups, yes. Affinity groups, yes. That's... Okay, that works for me. How do I interact with other trans people through social media? Of course, on Facebook for me, on Twitter, yes, on Instagram. Don't have a TikTok or used to have a Tumblr, not really much anymore. I uh, used to have a Reddit, but I don't use that anymore either. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, the following statements are about how you feel about your community. Please rate your level of agreement with the following items. Okay. I feel a part of a community of people who share my gender identity. I am going to strongly agree with that. I feel connected to other people who share my gender identity. I strongly agree with that. When interacting with members of the community that shares my gender identity, I feel like I belong. Strongly agree with that. I'm not like other people who share my gender identity. Yeah, I disagree with that. I feel isolated and separate from other people who share my gender. I strongly disagree with that. These are questions about relationships and parenting. Okay. Do I have a spouse or partner? I do have a partner, yes. Do I live with my partner? No. Does your current partner know you are trans? Yes. Has your current partner ever broken up with you or ended real relationship because you are trans? Absolutely not. I would not be dating them if I wasn't. Are you a parent or guardian? No. Do you want to have children? 
no y'all i am team live my best life possible at any point in your life have you tried to foster a child no these are questions about people in your life and whether they know you are trans okay when you were growing up who did you live together in the same i lived with my parents and siblings and that was about it which of the following people group of the people you grew up with knew that you were trans when you lived with them nobody have any of the family guardians or foster parents you grew up with ever done any of these things to you because you are trans no 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 this did happen growing up this did happen too this did happen <laughs> This kind of happens sometimes still, which is kind of problematic, but that's a conversation for another day. This does happen. Okay. That was about it for me. Have any of your family or guardians or foster parents you grew up with in the same household ever done any of these things to support you as a trans, support me as a trans person? Okay. This, I'm glad that they from uh, they had these questions about negative experience, but now they have questions about positive experience. I do really appreciate that a lot. Okay. Now, at this point in my life, yes, that's true. That's true as, we, as well. That's true. That's true. No, but I, I grew up in a pretty impoverished uh, household. Nope. I did that by myself, but that's because I am an immigrant. I have immigrant parents, so I had to do that all by myself. My mom did do this after I came out. My mom does do this now. My mom did this, did do this too. She's come a long way, y'all. I've never run away, thought about it a lot, but haven't. Okay, so I still have my parents, I have my siblings. Some, one of my grandparents passed away, but I still have them. I have these people. I have this, I have this, I have this. I have this, I have this. Everybody knows I'm trans. There's literally this one, most know I'm trans. And this one too. Unless they've been living under a rock, which some of them are, I'm not gonna be <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh they're the only ones that don't know I'm trans. How supportive they are. I would say they're supportive. They're pretty supportive now. My extended family is <laughs> surprisingly very supportive. I'll talk about this in a future video. It, this really does depend on who it is, but most of the time they are supportive. They're very supportive. Depends, similar to my bosses. Classmates are very supportive. There's one or two that are bad apples, but we'll go with that. These are questions about my religious beliefs. Okay. Do I believe in God? Yes. I don't really uh, attend religious services. I'm not gonna lie. How important is my religion? It's not at all important, really. Have you ever been a part of a spiritual religious community? Yes, but that was forced. Have you ever left your because you were afraid? Yes, that is very true. Growing up, I kind of stopped identifying as a Muslim for a little while. No, that never happened because I never let it get to that point. I kind of like left that before I had to face that. No, never had any connection with religious leaders 
yes, 100%. And that's what brought me back, really. Yes. 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 Make you feel welcome as a trans person. Many times. Many times. Many times. Many times. Never. Well, there was that one person on Twitter. I'll get, I'll do once or twice. <laughs> Never. There, there are a couple of bad seeds on Twitter that try to like get at me every now and then. Never. Never. Ooh, they have questions about COVID-19 and health. Okay, let's do this. I, surprisingly at this point, knock on wood, have never been diagnosed with COVID. I've gotten both my three shots, actually. Four? No, I'm not my fourth shot. No, none of my care has been delayed because of COVID. Okay, so I had the option of getting hormone and counseling therapy and this, because I got my top surgery during COVID. Okay. Early in the pandemic, many people stayed at home or wore masks in public. As time passed, vaccines became available. Some people continued to reduce time in public to wear masks. Okay. In the last 12 months, did you go in, out in public places more or less than you did before? Okay, so I go out less. How often did you wear a mask while out in public places? I try to most of the time, uh, but recently there's some incidences where I will not wear a mask and that is a personal decision that I make sometimes. I'm not gonna say other people do it or not. Use your best judgment. Yes. Most of the, some of the time. Yeah, yeah, I have to do that. I can't do that most of the time because I still need to take care of COVID patients at the hospital and in clinic. Okay, during work, I have to always wear it. I'm a healthcare worker. Yes, I did attend school most of the time remotely, all of the time. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, were you working in a job where you were considered essential or a frontline worker? Yep. Was your job affected by COVID-19 pandemic in the following ways? I was not, well, I did get laid out from this one radiology internship. Uh, It's not like I was laid off, I was not hired, even though I got the initial hire. But it it seems like that was not an option here. So I'll go with that. These are questions about work or pay in the sex industry and sex work. As a reminder, your answers are confidential. These questions are about your household income and current job. As a reminder, your answers are confidential. Okay, cool, thanks. These questions are about your current health insurance coverage and your healthcare providers and your general health. Awesome, let's do this. I do have insurance through my school. What type of health insurance do I have? In the last 12 months, did any of these things happen with your health insurance company, including Medicare and Medicaid? Okay. My health insurance company wouldn't change my records to list my current name. I didn't ask for this. My insurance company wouldn't change my records to list my current gender. Kind of, I think my insurance kind of like figured it out by themselves. My insurance company denied me hormones. No. My insurance company denied me surgical care. Yes. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen in the, ha happen in the last 12 months though. 
So I guess I did not ask for it. My insurance company denied me another type of medical care. No, my insurance company only covers some of the surgical care. No, I didn't ask for that. Did not ask for that. Would you say that in general your health? I think my health is pretty excellent right now. Was there a time in the last 12 months when you needed to see a doctor but could not because of tough costs? No, that's not true. Was there a time in the last 12 months when you needed to see a doctor but did not because you thought you would be disrespected? Nope. These are questions about your use of alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana, and other drugs. Oh, y'all are about to know all my, about my drug history, but to be honest, I don't really take any drugs because I'm boring. So the last couple of questions, data asked some extensive questions about drug use. I'm going to skip those questions because of confidentiality purposes, especially through my workplace, because y'all know they cause issues. So um, moving on to the next section. These are questions about your feelings and emotions during the last two weeks. Okay, let's do it. Over the last two weeks, how often have you been bothered by the following problems? Uh, not at all, uh, not at all. <laughs> Y'all about to find out that I am depressed. Uh, this did happen. Of the following question, how I've been feeling. Okay, okay. Didn't the last often I've been nervous? No, hopeless a little. Restless, yep. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. A little <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm just going to be very, very honest with y'all. <laughs> we just asked the number of feelings you had during the last 30 days. Okay, all together, how much did these feelings interfere with your life? Not at all. Now, think about the last 12 months. Was there a month in the last 12 months where you felt more depressed? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. During that month, how often did I feel nervous? I'll say some of the time, hopeless most of the time, most of the time, most of the time, most of the time, most of the time. Y'all, I, I went through a dark phase in the last 12 months. I'm not even going to be joking with y'all. These are questions about suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Talking about suicidal thoughts and behaviors sometimes brings up difficult emotions. If you experience any difficult emotions because of these questions, we encourage you to get help from someone. Okay. Okay, these are questions about experience you've had with mental health professionals. Okay, let's do this. During the last 12 months, did you receive counseling or therapy? No. Have you ever wanted counseling? Yes. Have you ever had? Yes. What age did you begin counseling? I was about 21. I saw a mental health professional. That was about two and five years ago. A lot. I went to a very trans-affirming therapist. Very supportive. Okay, we worked pretty well. Uh, I feel like there were some cultural differences that we had that didn't really work out between the two of us, but uh, that can be said about any profession really because People of color are vastly underrepresented in healthcare professional fields. Always, 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 always. These questions are about additional experience you may have had with some mental health professionals. Okay. Did any mental health professional try to make you identify only? Nope. Did you ever discuss your gender? I yep. Uh, no, no, no. I've never talk with the religious counselor okay yes did any mental health provider or religious counselor or therapist try to change your exception no did you ever go to convert no thank god i was threatened with it but never really followed through Throughout this section, we use the terms trans-related healthcare. Okay. I go to a trans-affirming place. 
they know most. I'll put that in most. I'm, I won't give them too much credit because I do think most healthcare professionals, unless they are trans, don't know comprehensive trans care. I have both, but I guess it's mostly in person. I travel less than 10 miles, luckily. Do you also go to a trans healthcare provider for your routine? Yes. Do you also go to a trans related healthcare provider for your routine related to sexual reproductive health? That is true. Okay. Around 9 to 16 years, did you take medication to delay or stop puberty? Nope. Have you ever wanted hormone replacement therapy? Yes. Have you ever had? Yes. Currently on. I started that at 21. Are you currently taking hormones for your gender identity? Yes. Where do you currently get your hormones? There you go. Has receiving HRT made you more or less a lot more satisfied? These are questions about procedures and surgeries related to your gender identity. The questions differ based on sex assigned at birth. So I was assigned female at birth. Okay. Have you ever had, or do you want uh, any of the healthcare listed? Okay, so I've had top surgery. Hysterectomy, I don't want this. Not if I can help it, but some people I know do need it. I don't need, I don't want that. I don't want that. 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 Okay, cool. I got my top surgery a year after, so I'm around 22 years old. You said that you do not want or not sure if you want one of the procedures. If cost is an issue, if cost wasn't an issue, would you want them? Nope. Are there any other surgeries? that I've not had, had yet. No, I don't want really anything much. Are there any other surgeries for your gender transition that you have had? No. Has receiving surgery for your gender identity transition made you more? Oh, my life is, I was all, almost about to curse, but my life is so freaking better. Have you ever had your trans related healthcare providers or therapists discuss with you how healthcare related your gender might affect your fertility? Yeah. I don't really care though. What healthcare providers discuss this with you? All of them. When these providers discuss the impact of your trans really on your fertility, okay. When did they do it? Before I began taking hormones, really. Have you ever detransitioned? No. These are questions about your experiences with doctors and other healthcare providers. Okay. How long has it been since you saw your doctor within the last 12 months? In the last 12 months, did you see a doctor or healthcare provider in person or online? In person, online, yep. Of the doctors or healthcare providers in the last 12 months, how many do you believe that all of them knew? In the last 12 months, did you have any of these things happen to you because you are trans? Yep, my doctors always treat me respect with respect. That's true. I do this a lot. Part of my job, my profession, and any other random doctor that's not the doctor that sees me regularly, I have to do that. No, thank God. I've had it before, but not right now. No. This happened more than 12 months ago, but it did happen before in my, in my past. Nope. 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 Thank God. Okay. Questions about my health and healthcare. No. No, 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 no. 
No, no. No. No, no. 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 I've not had a pap, pap smear done. I know I've talked so much about HPV. I'm really ashamed of myself. Okay, y'all, I'm going to schedule it. I promise. No, I've never been on birth control. I have considered it in the past. Yeah, that's my that's my current reason. No. Okay, questions about HIV. So, uh, because these are confidential questions, I'm going to be skip skipping them, okay? Okay, so this next question talks about legal name changes and my current identification, such as my birth certificate or driver's license. So recently I changed my gender, but I don't have any uh, reasons to change my, uh, my name, my legal name. A, l a little more satisfied. I don't really show my government ID to anyone, so it doesn't cause issues. I think with going into clubs and getting uh, some of my medications, it does help. Nope. Yes. Thank. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, the online haters are kind of, uh, kind of ridiculous. Okay, so this is about unwanted sexual contact. And so because these questions are private and confidential, I will be sk skipping this question. Uh, this section okay so that question section was actually pretty short for me because of the fact that uh luckily n unfortunate events haven't happened to me so this next question this next section is about questions about harm caused by current or former sexual partner uh, or anyone that i've had sexual intimacy with these are also confidential questions so i'll be skipping this uh, filling out this section for this video but just know that this section exists Okay, so this next question is particular to people who are immigrants. It asks about our immigration experiences. Have you ever been held in immigration detention? No. Have you ever applied for asylum? No. Uh, I didn't have to. Okay. Police and law enforcement. Okay, interesting. Uh, never. <laughs> Police. Are you uncomfortable asking the police for help when needed for any of the following reasons? This, 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 this. Uh, this, 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 this. Would I be more comfortable with asking police for help if they never... I just think police uh, never get any work done. It's a really uh, messed up system. Surprisingly, no. No. Okay. Experiences with jail and juvenile detention center. In the past five years, were you held in jail? No. Okay, so the next section is about experiences I've had with housing. No. 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 
experiences with homelessness? No. No. There are questions about your experiences with bathrooms. Okay, I hate men's bathrooms. <laughs> I use men's bathrooms. I'm okay. I feel, I feel pretty safe in men's bathrooms. I really prefer gender neutral bathrooms. Nope. No. No. Yes. I sometimes avoid bathrooms because, especially in weird areas where I know there's uh, there might be some toxic masculinity or threats of harm. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So these are questions about things that might have happened to me at my job. Okay. Yes. No. No. Yeah, I did apply for a job this year. No. No. Yeah, that did happen actually. No. It was probably I have I have no idea honestly. I met qualifications for a lot of jobs I applied to. Okay. In the past 12 months, have you visited or used services at any of these places? Okay. Mm. Yes. 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 Oh, dang. For me, these questions are long. All right, you indicated that did not use services in the following places in the past 12 months. Was that because you thought you were mistreated as a pet? No, no. It's just that I didn't need to go to these places. In the past 12 months, when you visited or used the services of these places, did you interact with any staff? Uh, I usually interact with staff in person, in person, in person. No, nobody knows I'm trans, really, except some people at the gym know, but that's because I told them. No, luckily none of these things happened to me. No, I've never thought about it. No, I've never thought about it. Oh! Um, nah. Sometimes I think about it, but it's never serious. Experiences at school. Never been expelled. Never been out as trans through at school. Nope. Yes. 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 No. 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 Thinking about your education after high school, were you out at trans? Yes. After high school, nothing really bad happened to me. Nobody messed with me. I got thick, tough skin afterwards. How widely available are gender neutral restrooms at your vocational school? Uh, in some buildings. Airport, oh my god, TSA. <laughs> my worst nightmare. Yeah. I was patted down. I think that's the only thing that's happened to me so far on that list. Voting and registration. I did vote for in the presidential election. I voted in person. I voted early voting. No, thank God. OK, 
okay civic and political activities and identities someone like me can't really influence go no that's i strongly disagree with that trans people have so much power no 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 uh i do volunteer for a cause but not a candidate i never volunteer for any person yes no uh, i think i did no no i didn't <laughs> not in the last 12 months no yes I guess I consider myself a Democrat. I am very liberal. Okay. Political opinions on trans people in the US. Okay. I think that's important. That's very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. 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 Yes. Why wouldn't these never be not important? Uh, that's very important too. Wow. Top three, all of them are super important. Okay, so for me as... I guess I'll do this. Yeah, I'll, I'll do these. Even though I, I, I want to select all of them. Okay, now we're at the end. Wow, that did ex take me exactly one hour to finish. You have answered all the questions for the US Trans Survey. Please submit. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> and we're done. Oh my god. Okay, so I just finished the US Trans Survey and I feel pretty good about it because some of those questions and that questionnaire altogether was actually pretty long. I know I skipped some parts, but I think for my own confidentiality purpose, I needed to do that. But also some of those, um, some of those questions were deeply, deeply, deeply personal. So even if I was comfortable sharing that on camera, I didn't want to do that uh, just for, you know, comfort purposes. And just to not trigger people who are watching this. I think that those are really personal, private conversations I've had with this survey. <laughs> Even though if it wasn't a person, I do think it was very, very private in nature and how those questions were asked. But um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't ever share those answers I've had in future videos or have already probably talked about it in a previous video I've made. Anyways, um, I hope me doing out the survey me filling out the survey has helped you in some way understand what to expect for this survey and why it's so 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 important because this data i will 100 percent probably use for a future study that i publish and present at a national conference and then i'll probably make a youtube video about it so please if you are a trans person if you are someone who um detransitioned your voices matter so please 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 fill out the survey and it will help so many researchers like me understand trans people, understand our lived experiences, and make our needs apparent and fight for them in a national and local scale. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope you share it with someone who may benefit from this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is bad.